Hi, you all doing, Ralph here, Ralphie Customs. Um, this is going to be a post-bank holiday, bit of a vlog. Uh, to be honest with you, I've got lots of little bits and bobs that I need to sort out, so you can follow along with that. And I am surprised how bitterly fucking disappointed I am at the passport office not sorting my passport out so I couldn't go away with the fucking crew like. There you go, such is life. So, so, here's fucking uh, Jack here, Tina, Vic here, don't know, don't know. I've got no name for the Triumph other than Triumph, but the registration's a bit Jackie kind of, Karen. So, oh, I don't fucking know, Jackie V? Don't know. Anyway, Big Blue. We've had a shakedown, as you know. There's a massive playlist. Uh, uh, this morning I have rebled the front brake through, tidied up the cables, sorted the gear change out um, because that wasn't sitting right after the gearbox work so I've done all that and a few other bits and bobs that escape me at the moment but the biggest thing I've done is give it a fucking good wash because it is workshop dirty. So we've had a uh, so I had a pre-clean, a bit of TFR, traffic film remover over the greasy bits, and then a good fucking foam and a little bit of a rub down before a good rinse off and a bit of a dry off. So I'm just leaving it to dry a bit more before I wheel it in and get on with valeting it, which you'll see. Say valet, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not detailing it. I'm just going to give it a bit of a fucking quick detailing spray over and wipe down and make it a bit shiny and, you know, clean. Now look, it's end of the workshop. Let's go back to the fucking Triumph. There's a Triumph. This end of the workshop is looking how I like it. Plenty of room. We're still waiting on our Nicky to come up and sort out this. We're still waiting on uh, Lee and Jules to come back with the carbs so we can see if that runs. We're waiting for me to put the handlebars on that. Me to do some work on that and me to do some work on that. So there's three jobs. Unfortunately, we've had a rough time what with fucking COVID and then uh, we had a death in the family like. So that's kind of knocked the productivity right fucking back. But there you go, it is what it is. So yeah, we're nice and clean and tidy. Fucking so in love with this. I'll call it a Bridgeport even though it's an Induma because Bridgeport is the original maker of that style of machine. It's a Bridgeport clone and very good one. Still keeping the fucking Queen Mary. So we're down the machine shop end. Everything is tickety boo. Look at this fucking workbench if you missed it. From our fucking Dean Choller. OD Choller. Fucking love it, mate. It's made the place, honestly. And there's our Dennis's waiting. Um, we're going to fit a fucking electronic shifter, a clicktronic. Shifter because his uh, ankles and feet ain't the best, bless him. So we're gonna do away with this. Yeah, that's going off. I'm gonna end up cutting it off, I think, and then welding somewhat on there, like to hold the big fucking, this big fucking bad boy that does the operation. So, yeah, we'll see. But I can't do a thing until I've fucking finished OD Chollers, Hardeen's. Your DB Chollers, nanny boy. We're hoping to get on his, but he's uh, got some family matters that are taking precedence, so that's kind of stalled a little bit. But uh, hopefully we'll get on and finish that. we only got to fit the seat, fit the forwards, uh, do some other bits of fucking about. He's changing his mind on the fucking handlebars, bastard. If, <laughs> I'm only joking. But I made some special fucking inserts, if you recall, if you follow along, for these risers, so... 
they're fitted because these bars, the bends in these bars are too close together for your standard three and a half inch riser pitch like so. I made some offsets to replace the rubber bungs because you don't want rubber mounts like because he's having big bars so it was a win-win. Right, here's what we're going to use. We use a bit of mother's on the alley, a bit of wax. After we go over with this ceramic detail, this is my new favourite thing like. So, I'll get set up on my dolly trolley. I might even break out the fucking detailing bag, but I'm not sure. It's fucking, it's all in here, kids. Oh, fucking silver line. Oh, my fucking drying cloth. Some really soft cloth and all my fucking Chemical Brothers products. Fucking gleaming shit. So, I'll probably break that out on fucking Ardeen's Big Blue. So we've got, we got the old rag bag. You buy rag bags and they have rags in. No shit, with something nice, like fucking Terry toweling. Like this, analog, I've never heard of analog. If you have, let me know. And that's Puma, yeah? So Puma fucking joggers. Cause they're nice and soft inside and perfect for cleaning fucking, polishing motorbikes like. So we will have the scissors on those in short order and cut them into, uh, usable sizes for the job in hand and then we can fucking start rubbing his bike who oh, yeah. Everything waxed and coated with products and rubbed and you know it just needs to buff up now so we'll, we'll leave it dry a few minutes I've just had my BLT if you follow my shorts after my breakfast um, and now it's ready to buff off the only thing I've got to pay particular attention to is the fucking primary so I need to give that aluminum and minimum a bit of a buff up but I'm not gonna bother filming that it just be me rubbing stuff more of me rubbing stuff so, um, you will have noticed, probably, one of the key things I say about cleaning your fucking bike, this is why I don't like following rat bikes, because things fall off them. This timing plate needed a tweak, and there's a, a little stop right under there for the brake that the lock nut wasn't tight. Um, easily done, you know, it's a fucking machine of many parts. It's easy to miss the odd one or two. I never touched the, the timing cover, the points cover. So it's just come loose like, because they do. And I found that because I'm cleaning it and I've addressed those two issues. So a big part for me of keeping your bike nice and clean is you, you're actually inspecting it while you're doing it, you're going over it. You're touching every part of it pretty much. I'm running a hand and a cloth over it never, ever does any harm, you know what I mean? Unless you're fucking covered in fucking pink stripper or something. You, you get the gist, you know what I mean? So... Hey, she blows, Captain. Oh, excuse me. Shiny, shiny. You can see me waving in the reflection. I'm walking around like way. So, that is as clean. Oh, I've just got a buff off the back of my guard, I've just noticed. It's not quite as clean as it's going to get. Clean the primaries up. Let's get a clean cloth. 
That came up all right. A bit of mother's polish, nice and shiny. Um, it really does just leave a buff off the wax. Get the wax off this fucker. I've done all the swing on the rest of it, like right? just not the mud guard because uh, just because. So, I'll just get that last bit there, look. And that is as clean as this is getting. Happy days. You fucking doker. Next on the agenda is this electronic, clicktronic gear change solenoid. Got two solenoids in there. One shoves it out and one pulls it in. Happy days. But I need to position it in such a way that we have about 90 degrees between the existing gear change linkage, that part, and the end of this rod. So it needs to go about horizontal on the bike. And I want to be able to use this lovely fucking bracket with a swivelly bit and everything. I think that I can weld that. I'm going to try to weld that onto the top of his forwards and use that fucker. It needs to fucking get out of the way of his foot though, doesn't it? Oh gosh. Well, that's the plan. Let's see what we can come up with. So, what I've done, I've, with it, it, fucking hell, it, <laughs> I've stripped the forwards down. It, it surprised me how hard that was. I don't know why it surprised me because the rest of it's been a bit of a fighter. And I've, um, <clears throat> I have a cunning plan. And has to trim all the shit off this plate. Yeah. And that will uh, clean that up. We only need that and these stand holes and the three mountain holes. You know, it, it can just be this shape. That's gone. That's not used. That's not used. So fuck that off out of the way. And what that'll do is clear up this primary case. I was thinking of mounting off here somehow, but this is not good for it. And it's, uh, it's going to stick out a bit too much and all the rest of it. So fuck that all off. And then I'm going to make, look, a bracket like that one that fits on these primary bolts. There's another one down there like that one. Um, what Dennis has done, I believe, he's ordered it for a Buell, so you don't get that plate. If he'd ordered it for a sports store, they might supply that plate. I might give him a ring. Failing that, I'll make one that catches those two bolts and gives me... Uh, that kind of mounting for the triangle bit for that, yeah? So that bit is there on the drawing. And then we need a plate that focus, fucking focus, that fits on these primary bolts. And that'll tie it in nice, I think. That'll give us what we're looking for, fixture-wise, somewhere around there, yeah? With that bracket on a piss like that. But it's on a wibbly-wobbly, so that's all good. That will sit like that and out of the way. Clean that bracket up wherever I fucking put it. Oh, here it is. If it's cooled down enough to touch. So that's now going to sit like that. All well, the shit took off it. And that top foot peg mount. But it does come close to this fucking bolt. Which is going to make my job not trickier. I reckon it'll go. I'm going to use my CAD. My cardboard aided design. Courtesy of those nice people in the rainforest to manufacture uh, this bracket out of this bit of 10 mil fucking alley, I reckon. I think that's my best bet. Here we go, look. That's my bracket, fits on there. Like that, but right over there. And uh, we're drawing it out. I'm just gonna go over to the bounce all over, if you've seen me do. 
uh, and do a bit of sanding and cleaning up after. Do a couple of holes. We'll see how it goes. My only concern is uh, I'm tight for space with this foot peg mount, yeah, that I showed you. And this is not, them two aren't fucking, this casing's not flat there, so it might need a space, a couple of washers or something, which is going to put me nearer to the fucking foot peg mount, so. We'll see. The bolts have got lots, lots of thread on them. Look. So that's not a concern. It's missing the fucking foot peg mount. It's going to be a bit tight, like a tiger. A little bit of a fast forward. And we've got this kind of affair. So I've cut and shaped and drilled. And it does need a fucking wee little space off there because we hit this radius on the doodah. I could take some more off it, but I think I'll just space it. It's fuck all. A little bit of space in, like two washers, you know what I mean? So what I need to do now is drill and tap these through um, so they bolt together, basically. I, I thought about welding them, but I'll just bolt it up. It's a, a simpler way of doing it. Uh, and then it... It can be mounted. Happy days. So we've come halfway on this square end, if you like, 17 mil that is. So we've come up 17 and we've decided that we want to come in 10. So I've marked that and I'll do it with the auto centre punch off camera because I need two hands like. And then we'll have it over to the drill and we'll drill it ready for threading. And clearance for the bolt on the other side after. Gently does it. We just need this pilot to go through both. Um, and then we can sort of pump, put pump, pump on the other side and switch it around. It's going to read fast so you can't see it properly, but I need to support it. Happy days. Now we drill the clearance holes for the bolts. We've got to stop against the, uh, the job here, look. And we're going to use the power of squeezing hard to stop it fucking, fucking about. It's soft alley. Um, and I would recommend clamping if you're not sure about it, you know what I mean? But that's that done. We'll counter sink those holes a little bit after. Let me just grab the bracket. What I'm going to do next is drill these two holes out. There you go. Here, here, I'm here, look. Faces here, fuckers. Um, drill these 6.8 and then tap them 8 mil, And then we'll put some bolts in that'll clamp this up to the fucking plate that clamps up to the primary that holds the fucking... In it. I don't know why she swallowed a fucking fly. Cheers, then. Here we go, look. Little bit of alley lube. Straight in with the machine tap. This is like fucking jaw rattle. Or something, this aluminium, this is made out of, it's nice. It'll take this thread, lovely. Sorry if the camera's a bit wobbly. I, I'm yet to bolt this new workbench down, because it fucking hell, it's like it's made of fucking black holes or something. It's that heavy. So I've not been asked, to be honest, but I will do. I need, uh, I need a morning in here, catching up with a few bits and bobs like that. I've got a plan for me. Um, jig, give me frame bench stroke jig thing, I need to extend it as I do more choppers, man, I need uh, I need a bit more length, bless her, hey, you know what I mean, never mind the quality, feel the width, my boy, so, they're done, anyway, look, we wobbly wobbly, and I've sort of some fasteners out, and some little spacers, or something, and we'll get this bolted on and then we need to make an adapter that goes off the end of the off the gear chains to marry the gear chains to the piston or something similar, you know, we'll have a look. Well I know, so there she is mounted. Ain't she pretty? I just need to double check this. What I've done, I, I didn't space it off in the end because I'm really tight for space, so I've just tightened it up and this plate's got enough flex and enough clearance that it's just relaxed into shape, we'll call it. Well, so now what I've done is I've put a marker off the stroke. You've got an inch either way. Yeah. Inch in, inch out. So I've measured it, and that is that black line's about halfway. 
and that's where it lines up with this pivot. But of course, we've got a fucking gap lock. We've got a bridge over the river fucking quiet to sort out. So I'm going to have to make an adapter that goes between the two. I need to just shove that down a bit. Why is it gone tight? Oh, it's sitting on that fucking bowl. Oh, maybe we need to take that out and put a normal X head in to give us that. I need to drop it just a bit, look, so. Uh, we'll look at that next. We'll look at getting the clearance that we need there. I've done the belt and braces. I've threaded the, this plate and I've put a lock nut on the back, so it's not going anywhere. Let's see what we can do with that. All oh, right, quick break for lunch. We've got fried chicken, breaded fried chicken. Yeah, coming along nicely. And we've got uh, homemade, homemade, homegrown, this is Rocket, and it's been flea beetle to fuck, so there's enough love to go around though, it's still good. Uh, lettuce, uh, radish, and some of our cucumber that have gone fucking proper cedar. A little bit bitter for it, but it's all right, a bit zinger. Um, fine. And my homemade dressing. My secret homemade dressing, which is actually Apple cider vinegar, olive oil and honey. Fucking get it in. Yeah, I'll have a bit of that now. Okay, fucking dokey. So we're about here. What I've ended up doing is slotting these holes and putting a hex head in the top one because we needed more of an angle of a dangle for the actuation. And I've tried the foot peg mount and side stand mount on and I'm telling you, we have got two hairs and some hair between there. That is fucking as close as it gets, but a miss is as good as a mile, you know. So, happy days on that. What I need to do is work out a way to join this fucking actuator to the gear change. And if I poke this right out, I can about get it, but I've read the destructions and they're like, you want it about halfway, kid. So, I can't get that. I cannot get that. But I can make a plate. This, Bear with, I'm just gonna do some bad camera work. I'm gonna pull that out until I see my halfway mark, which is there. So that's there. That's where it needs to be when the gear lever is pretty much straight up. I can make a plate, I think, that bolts on 11 mil thick, bolts on where the kickstart, uh, where the gear change goes, and then goes through that. Uh, ball joint that is gonna be where I'm gonna be because I can't fucking I could get it there look. if I push this through more I'm not explaining myself very well but I can get that there but then the pivots right at the back and it might not be the best you know they're saying try and get in the middle well on their example it's not quite in the middle look it's about it's a bit to the, the brackets, a bit to the left, like so, a bit to the left, like that. And then they've used a fucking made. Someone's made an alley plate that I've not got. Same as that alley plate that I've just made. That one. So I think that might be the way. Let's have a think about it and see what's what. Well, this this is turning into a fucking job and half, isn't it? I'm now making the alley bracket to do the job, like. That's gonna sit there. Something like that. I'm gonna drill this cunt out and we're gonna have an M8 fucking thread there and an M6 thread there and we're gonna shape this to that. I need to, first of all, because I've marked it out on this side, I need to flip it over and take 1.7 mil off it in the old fucking milling machine and then get fucking the holes drilled and then look at profiling it. So I'll do a quick summary of that work otherwise it'd get its own fucking video first it? things let's turn that fuck off first things first we need to take 1.75 millimeters off this which is 68 thousandths of an inch so i've set this multi-tool multi-insert cutter I've, I've not used it since i got this milling machine so this is going to be a bit of a tester i'm going to take a 40 thou cut first off and we will see how that fucking goes and then it will come back with 28 to finish it off like
scream if you want to go faster. The camera makes it look worse than it is because the finish on that is fucking beautiful. There's nothing wrong with that. So we'll get that done to size and we'll flip it over and get the old drill in. And this is the final finish pass. I've just squirted a bit of suds on there. Honestly. It just frosted on my mistake. Uh, now we've flipped it over and we've aligned the hole numero uno. We're just checking where we're at. We'll get that started, bear with. I'm nothing if not unprepared. We'll bring that down, auto feed in, be a looby doo bit. And let that work its magic. And now we've drilled both those and roughed it out on the bandsaw. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna position it like so in the vice, I use a parallel to eyeball that line. Yeah, or maybe a couple of parallels. So I eyeball that line and then run my two flute cutter over it to get them sides level. And then we'll look at how we're gonna radius these ends. So we've got a parallel to work off that line you can see. And then we've just touched the tool on it, just. It's, in fact, I could probably touch it a little bit more, but I'm not gonna, yeah. So we lock off a quill. Get out my breath. Bring this over uh, this way. Yeah. And we know the knee's locked like there. The quill's locked there. We can just cut that off and it'll be bang on. Like fucking so. And that'll get that near enough as fuck it is to swearing. Right oh, so onto this radius, what we've done, we've set it up level with the centre line through the two holes, level with the vice using a parallel like we did before. And this time we're, we're going to pivot around this hole. So you could use a pin, you can use a dowel, you can use what you like, but I've used the drill that drilled the hole in it, so I know he's bang on. And what I will do is I will bring this along and I will bring my cutter down until it just touches. So, here we go, nice and steady. You could use a Rizzler under it if you want, just to get it like, but this will do. That is just touching, lock that off. And now we go, cut once, switch it off. And we know if this stays true, if this stays down on the thing, then nothing we can do, look, he's gonna fuck that up, we could do that. And then take a cut, look, nip it up. Like and then come back this way. Like that. Switch it off. Unloosen it. If you know, you know. Give it a bit more. Tighten it up. Etc. Etc. Yeah, and there you go. Needs a bit of a whiz round on the belt sander lights just to finish it off proper, but it's uh, not too shabby. And there you fucking have it. You've got a bolt through. It's got a straight shank. It's not threaded all the way. It's not a set screw. It's a bolt. Um, M8 there. M6 there. And it is going to fucking do the deed. My wobbly camera work should show and be more than up to the job. There is a little bit more work to do on the mountain, side stand mountain, on the forwards there, just to change things a little bit because of how they were. But apart from that, we're fucking happy. Yeah, so there you go. A bit of a, a I'm trying to frame everything. It's not working, is it? There you go. We a bit of a fucking mix and match. Uh, a couple of ollies, a little bit of machining, a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of fettling, a little bit of fucking about. As always, it just leads me to thank you for watching. 
If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up and a sub. It makes a huge, huge difference. Check out the merchandise in the description below. And my friends are there as well. See you later. Have a great one. Lots of love.